Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of our Lord. I want every one of us, please, can you open to um, the book of Psalms? I want us to, I want every one of us, please. Um, uh, this is not just a teaching meeting. It's a time of celebration. Benson, can you mute your microphone, please, so that others can hear? Um, I just want us to get involved, get involved, get involved, take a prayer position. Uh, let's dedicate this one hour onto our king. Now look at um look at Psalm 103, verse 1. I want us to just read it. Read it into your environment, read it aloud. If you're in your room or your office or your business place, don't mind the environment right now. I just want you to uh, recalibrate that environment with the word of God. There's something about the angelic ministrations. You see, you need to activate the angelic ministrations around you. The Bible said that they are, they are angels that hearken it unto the voice of the word. You got to give voice to the word. You got to give voice to the written word. This word it's not letter and it's not pen and it's not grammar. It's not pen and paper. The, the word is spirit. So even when you're not praying, you can take the word of God, read it aloud. Read it aloud. I love what mama normally do sometimes when we are sleeping, she will just on the audio Bible and allow it to go on all through the night so powerful you wake up you see your spirit healthy because even when you're sleeping your spirit is not sleeping your mind your body might be sleeping but your spirit man is not sleeping you can turn your spirit uh, your your sleeping moments into education of your spirit man so you allow the word of god to flow you can go around your business you read the word just read the word just read the word. You go around your, your compound, you read the word, you just read it. You don't need interpretation, you're activating things in the realms of the spirit. You notice that there are certain strange spirits. Of course, when people begin to misbehave in your home, it's an evidence that there is a strange spirit. You just go around, take your word, give voice to it. All that the angels want to hear in order to get into action is the voice of the word. All oh, the angels that are hacking it onto their voice. So long as that, that word is in your pillow or is in, let, it's in the book, it saves nobody. It, it helps nobody. It helps nobody. But when you take that written word and you give voice onto it, the angels get into action. They get into action. So I want you to do that this morning. Let's let's begin our month this way. Um, we're gonna read aloud. We're gonna read aloud Psalm 103, and we're going to do it from verse one on to seven, on to seven, on to seven, on to seven. Please, if you have your Bible app or whatever. I really want you, even if you are in a taxi, even if you are in a taxi, don't be ashamed to open up your mouth to read it. They, those guys there need to hear the word of God. They need to hear the word of God. They might think you are, you've gone bonkers. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you are doing already. We've seen witches go to malls here, even in even in this country. They go and put cast the in the public. They put certain certain spells on food that people are eating and they're not ashamed of it why must you be ashamed of proclaiming the word of god openly this is what attitude that we are put on that have made the enemy to overtake the nations we are not ashamed anymore we are not ashamed anymore we are not i'm telling you we are not we are not if they don't care what we will say when they take their clothes outside we shouldn't be bothered about what we say when we when we take our faith outside there and we we are very emphatic and radical over it hallelujah 
Glory be to God. Let's read it quickly. I'm reading King James. You can join me if you don't have your Bible handy, but I don't know why you have phone, you don't have your Bible. Uh, I don't know. Why will you have phone and you don't have Bible? Download the Bible app on your phone and let's read it. Amen. Everybody, let's go. It said, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all my iniquities? Who healeth all my diseases? Who redeemeth my life from destruction? Who crowned me with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfied my mouth with good things? So that the, my youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord is the good righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. I want you to turn it into prayer right now. I say, Father, I thank you. I bless you, King of glory, with everything that is in me, everything, my spirit, soul, and my body, all my aspirations, all my dreams, my strength, the strength of my life, my wisdom, all that I am, all that I, I, I am, all that I will ever be. Lord, King of glory, I give you praise. I bless your holy name. I bless your holy name. Lord, I have not forgotten your benefit all through January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, even this September. I have not forgotten your benefits all through the year. I give you glory. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving all my iniquities. For if thou, O oh Lord, will regard my iniquities, who can stand? Who can come into your presence? Thank you for the blood that have brought us into your presence. Today we can walk freely into your presence. It didn't, it, 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 it didn't used to be like that. It, 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 the, the, the high priest comes used to come into your presence once in a year. And even when he come in, he got to have a chain round about his waist. But today we can walk into your presence because of the blood of Jesus. The veil have been broken. Thank you for that substitutionary death. Thank you, Lord, for paying the price to bring us into your presence. Thank you, Father, for forgiving all our iniquities. Thank you, Lord, because we are healed. All of us, you took all our infirmities. You carried away all our diseases. Lord, is a benefit of our relationship with you. Thank you for paying the price. You redeemed us. You redeemed us, oh God, from destructions. You brought us back from the things that was ordained, doomed to kill, to take us out before our time. We thank you, Father. We bless you. We don't know how many people that, we, that we're having sleepless night trying to take off our lives. We give you praise and adoration. We magnify your holy name. We wanna, we're excited, Lord, to be here. We thank you for this first day of September. We give you praise. If you didn't redeem us from destruction of yesterday, probably we wouldn't have seen today. But we are here today because you're not done with us. We thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Somebody touch your head. Touch your head and declare it. Thank you, Lord, for the crown of loving kindness that you have put upon me. The crown of favor. All demons we see that have been favored of you. All men shall see that have been favored of you. Lord, thank you for your crown of loving kindness and tender mercies. Thank you, Father. I want to bless you. You put this crown on me so that all hell will know that I'm the one that you have chosen. I'm the one that you have elected. I'm the one that you have redeemed. I'm the one, oh God, that you paid that great price for. Thank you for this crown of loving kindness and your tender mercies. 
all over me in the life of my children. Come on, go ahead, escalate that prayer. Go ahead and pray right now. Maligo shata kabaya, embreko sikota kabaya, mende zobeli gadia, kezu brelu gadilia. Father, I want to thank you, Lord, for thou, O oh Lord, renewed my youth like that of the eagle. I'm younger than my age. You made it possible. Thank you, Father. People are doubting of my age. Lord, it's your work. It's your work. We give you praise. We give you adoration. We are not attributing it to any cosmetic industry. We thank you, Lord. You are the God that is renewing our youth like that of the ego. Thank you, Father. No one dies young. Lord, I will not die young. In the name of Lord Jesus, untimely death that does not fulfill your will is cut off from my family. Is cut off from my family. Thank you, Lord. You are the God that is executed righteousness and judgment over my life. In the name of Jesus, every man and woman that have come into our life, you will place them where they belong. Father, they are not going to stress us this week, this month. In the name of Jesus, it's our month of rest. It's our month of fulfillment. It's our month of greatness. It's our month of harvest. We declare, Lord King of glory, no power of the enemy shall be able to cut us off. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus, we give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you because you are making known unto us the ways that we should go. The ways that you sh we should go. We're not just satisfied by receiving acts of miracles, but Lord King of eternal glory, we want to know the way. We want to know the way. Ligo Shaka Sabadia. Somebody pray. Pray into your se September. Pray in tongues right now if you can. Please pray in tongues. Don't listen to me. I'm not praying to you. No, no, open your mouth. Pray. Pray in tongues right now. All the Mondays in September. All the Mondays. All the Tuesdays. All the Wednesdays. All the Thursdays. All the Fridays. All the Saturdays. All the Sundays of September 2023. Let's pray in the spirit and sow into it. Maligo Shagaza. Le Proko Zigomalia. Le Kotakaba. Re Zobre Likatushka. Maya Gazopre Lugabadulia. Endo Zegobaria. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please, I, I want us to repeat that prayer point. While we are praying in the spirit, the Lord begin to ask me to remind you the scripture quickly. Look at Romans chapter 8. We're going to get back to praying in the spirit concerning the month that is ahead of us, starting from today. I want you, before you do that, I'm going to give you two minutes to do that, but I want you to do it with understanding. It makes a whole world of difference when you do these things in understanding. I want you to see uh, the book of Romans chapter 8. <laughs> book of Romans chapter 8. Uh, and I want you to pay attention to verse 26. Um, let's, let's, let's do it in New Living Translation for clarity purpose. It said, and the Holy Spirit helps us. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses, in our weakness. Now, now what is this weakness all about? What is this weakness all about? Now, it, it said a weakness, for example, he given an example. We don't know what God wants us to pray for. You see that? There are certain things that God will stay you up in your spirit, man. Intuitively, you just want you to pray. I have some of you woke up early, late, or uh, uh, at all time of the night, and 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 you you you, you perceive that He is telling you up to pray, but you don't know what to pray. You don't know what to pray. And there are certain situations you're going in, going through right now. You don't even know what to pray. Yes, you might be praying what you think you know what to pray, but that's not the will of God. Because of our limited understanding through the faculties of our soul. Are you getting what I'm talking about? So, but the Bible said that the Holy Spirit is given unto us so that we can, he, we, he, he can through us pray on our behalf 
over those things that we need to pray about, but we don't know how to pray about it. This is this is this is heavy weight provisions. You get what I'm talking about? He said, for example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. Then he said, verse 27, and the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit pleaded for us believers in harmony with God's own will. In other words, you can't pray in the Spirit and pray amiss. You can't pray in the Spirit and pray amiss. The Holy Spirit prays in agreement with what the will of God is, even when we don't know what the will of God is. Now look at the result of that prayer, verse 28. It said, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and accord according to his purpose for them. You know, we quote this scripture. We know we quote this scripture, all things working together for them that love him but he, he, he said and and which means there's something i need to do for all things to work together for us who love him and that thing he said we should do that will cause all things to work together even when we don't know what it is is praying in the spirit praying through the holy ghost praying when you are prayed in the holy ghost over a thing even when you don't know what you are praying about, it's going to work together. When you get there, everything will be in place. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Is somebody hear what I'm talking about? Now, I want you to lift up your voice and pray in the next two minutes over the rest of this month. The, 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 is it 30 or 31 days of this month? Lift up your voice and I want you to pray. I want you to pray in the spirit. I'm sure you don't know what to pray about tomorrow. You may think that you know, but pray in the spirit right now. Maligo shagazo, emprelege zo preludia, lakushka gazaba. Father, we commit all Mondays, all Tuesdays, all Wednesdays, all Thursdays, all Fridays, all Saturdays and Sundays, all of them, of the month of September 2023. Mikala Boshke Gezo, Empreli Katoshka, Leguse Kotakaba, Antoske Breliga, Malika Toske Prelege Badulia, Makushka Gazo Prelukata, Reko Sheke Sopre Luga Badulia. No matter what come against us, it will fit into your way. Mayegoza, Mayegoza, Mayegoza. Kusa gabaria, marika toshke, rika takabaya, mareko ske brelika tushka, lego siko takaba, ando zekoma, melika taska, rika toshke gezulia, legu zegobaria, rakushka gaso preludia, lendo zeko parika, embrelika tushka, yekuske belikata, reko takabaria gos. Antoska Barika, Rego Seco Paria, Marego Sikobadia, every microsecond of September 2023, Ligabalamando Soba, Eco Seco Parudia, every man and woman we will ever come in contact with, every man and woman that will ever cast their eyes upon us, Gebalimandosa, Ego Seco Parika, Reco Seco Takaba. Raba kushka gazolia, liko sego barikata, embre likatoshkia. Even our enemies that will ever lift up their heels against us. Malakushka gaza, reko dagabaria, alaba kushka gazobre ludia, gezobre lugada, leko takabaria, maraga zobre ludia. We declare law that every single stone thrown against us, every heel lifted up against us, every tongue that are lifted up against us, all of them, Lord, we walk, O King of glory, according to your purpose, Mayekota, 
Imbrakaza, Liko Takaba, Mareku Seko Breludia, Ligo Seko Paragadoske, Likada Gabarede, Rikada Gabarede, Rikada Gabarede, Rigazo Preludia, Leko Teko Paragazo, Emprelika Toske, Yeku Seko Paradia. Hallelujah. Somebody have said, and I believe the person, it says, I may not know what tomorrow holds for me, but I know God who holds my tomorrow. Woo! That's beautiful. I may not know. 1998, I was so much intoxicated with that statement because my life was shattered, battered, scattered. I can't even, I was, in those days, I was even afraid to think, to be alone. Have you been there before? You are afraid of being alone so that you don't sneak into thinking about what's going to happen to me. So you are drowned in the midst of people. You are afraid of being alone. You got to have somebody or to distract yourself. Because my life was like a jig puzzle game that you can't even think how is it going to fit. But I hear God saying, this is your life. Like a jig puzzle game. I'm going to fix it and make a meaning out of it. Today I'm seeing meanings. Today I'm seeing meanings more than ever. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? But, but in these days, in those days, praying in the spirit, I will never forget. Please believe me, I lie not before God. I will never forget. I think that happened in Joss. I prayed for 13 hours non-stop on, in tongues. 13 good hours. I don't know. I know that Archbishop Bensley does have done more than that. Okay? But that's my own record. 13 hours. Do you know what? Maligo, Shaka, Zobreni, Catolia, Ekote, Koseko, Breludia. For 13 good hours. Non-stop. You hear what I'm talking about? God says, I will fix your life that looks like a puzzle game. Now, now, now watch this. I want you to see something before we continue. I still want you to pray in tongues again. Now, I want you to go to the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Let me give you a photograph of this God you call your God. This God you call your God. I want to give you. There's no other place you can get a correct photograph of God except from his word. And this word doesn't need, you don't need to go to Cambridge University to interpret the word. Most of the people who are experts in the language, they can't interpret it because the word is spiritually locked. You get what I'm talking about? Now look at Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11, New Living Translation. It says, furthermore, because we are united with Christ, how? By being born again. By being born again. Because we are united in Christ, with Christ, it said, we have received an inheritance from God. Somebody said, I received inheritance from God. Maybe your dad died and he left nothing. Or mom or family members have seized what God, what your father left for you. Don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Don't negotiate suicide. You have inheritance in Christ. You get what I'm saying? He said, he said, he said, we have, we have. It's a present test fact. We have an inheritance from God. For he chose us in advance and he makes everything work out according to his plan. I want you to underline that he makes, that's the character of your God. He makes everything work out according to his plan. God is not working according to your plan. So even when your plan fell, forget it. God is not working to fix your plan. Forget about your plan when it fails. God is not working to make everything about your life to fit in according to your plan god do have a plan god do have a plan 
God do have a plan. And he's working according to his plan. So even if you got, you got pregnant out of wedlock, he's going to fix it. He's going to fix it. You are dealing with somebody who makes everything work out according to his plan. Your husband left you with another younger lady. Don't stay there till you die and get drained in your strength. The one you're working with makes everything work out. People left you. People you confided upon. They suddenly switch off and left your life. God going to fix it. You are dealing with a God who makes everything work out. Kalama Yaga. Mele Goso Preludia. I'm not going to get bitter because somebody dropped me. I'm not going to get bitter because somebody did not respond to me the way I expected. I'm not going to get bitter because somebody something went bad according to my plan. I'm going to stick onto the one who makes everything, everything work out according to his plan. Lift up your voice and say, my father, my God, this is my September to remember. This is my September to remember. Lord, I have come unto you. You are the God that makes everything to work out according to your plan. Lord, activate your plan for me this month. Melego Shataya. Yekota Kabaria. That's a plan that is involved. My own plan may have fell. But Lord, I want your plan. Eko Seko Siko Baria. Lekuta Kabaria. I don't want my plan to succeed against your own plan. Lord, I want your plan. I say yes to your plan. Yekula Maya. Eko Seko Siko Baria. Even when your plan is not comfortable, even when your plan, oh God, means that I have to downsize, I don't mind downsizing. If it is your plan, Lord, I want your plan. I don't care what people going to say. I want your plan. Let your plan pull through for my life. Make everything concerning my marriage. Everything concerning my ministry. Everything concerning my family. Everything concerning my finances. Let me walk according to your plan. Yeko shakasa. Melege so preludia. Ekula maya gazaya. Is somebody here? Is somebody here? Maya Gazabaria, pray in the spirit, Ligo Paraga Zodia, Mandaga Sopre Lugabatulia, Aka Sopre Lucatolia, Reko Takabaria. That's the God I'm dealing with. That's the personality I'm dealing with. That's the Yahweh I'm dealing with. He makes everything, everything work out according to his plan. Father, I say yes to your plan. Even if your plan have violated my plan, it doesn't really matter, O King of Glory. Even if your plan downsizes me, I still want your plan. 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 Your plan may not make me happy, but I still want your plan. It may not make me, O King of Glory, to celebrate with my friends, but I still want your plan. How many of you want God's plan? How many of you want God's plan? Listen, let me tell you. So many times, the plans of God will mess you up before he make you up. Every time you pray and say, God, I want your plan, understand that it doesn't come cheap. If you ask Mary, Mary already had planned to marry Joseph. They were already engaged. They were already engaged. How do you explain to your, your fiancé who have never slept with you that you got pregnant of the Holy Ghost? Who does that? Who said that? Which Holy Ghost? God stepped in to Mary's life with his plan. And his plan made a caricature of Mary. It's not easy to be Mary. It's not easy to be Mary. 
It's not TV. How do you go to your father to tell your father that you got pregnant out of wedlock and they say, who is the host? Who is the man that are responsible? You say the Holy Ghost. Who does that? But that's the plan of God. That's the plan of God. God's plan sometimes will mess you up before it will make you up. What God called favor to Mary was a shame to the society, in the society. He said, you are highly favored. Me favored, pregnant, without a man. You call it favor. My fiance is leaving me. You call it favor. My mom is rejecting me. You call it favor. The community is about to stone me. You call it favor. But that's the plan of God. I pray that you will receive courage to carry the plan of God. It doesn't come cheap. It doesn't come easy. Sometimes the plan of God will downsize you. Sometimes the plan of God will mess you up. Sometimes the plan of God will cause you to be denied. It will cost you a lot. But that's the plan of God. Are you still ready in September? I say, Lord, I want your plan. I subscribe to your plan. I click yes to your plan. If you want to do that, open your mouth and say, Lord, King of eternal glory, I give you a yield unto you. In the month of September, as never before, I yield unto you all my all, all that I am, all that I will ever be, all that I have, all that I will ever have, all my all. I yield unto you. Let your plan pull through. Let your plan pro pre pre become preeminent in my life. Let your plan, oh God, override every other plan. Plans from the demonic cover. Plans, oh God, from my own. I say yes, Lord, to your plan, to your plan, to your plan. To your plan, Bariko Seko Seboria, Rekuta Kaza, Melige Sopreludia. I pray, O King of Glory, that your plan will be downloaded, will, pre will, 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 will prevail over my life, over my family, over my business. In the name of Jesus, I say yes to the plan of God. You hear what I'm talking about? Maligo shata yalaba. Mereke to se preludia. Leko takabaria. Marika to skeke so preludia. Is somebody hearing what I'm talking about? Let me tell you how this is. This, 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 I think this is helping somebody right now. I'm so much, I feel it in my spirit that somebody is being recovered right now. Somebody is being recovered. You see, many years I struggled to accept my family. I mean, not my immediate family, my, my extended family. I struggled so much because somewhere along the line, when I gave my life to Christ, my father took off his son from training me at, at level, level, is it level 300 in University of Calabar. He put my Bible one side and put his money. He said, choose. If you take your Bible, forget about how do you how do you go back to the university with no sponsor and you're not even walking just because you got born again. I took my Bible and he took his money and that was the end. Almost died in the campus because of hunger. I'll never forget the day I brought out empty milk cans. I said, God, you are the God that did it in the wilderness. I have faith that you will do it. I prayed and prayed. When I opened the milk can, it was still empty. It was still empty. But something happened two days later. A particular family from Lagos heard about what happened. They said, Caleb, we will take over your training. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? So even when God is silent, he's still at work. The silence of God does not mean that he have abandoned you. 
There are some of you that are going through things now and you're calling God and it looks as if that God is silent. When God is silent, he's still talking. Ah! I, I, are you hearing what I'm talking about? I've been through there. I've been through there. At a particular stage, because of my convictions of faith, my entire family could not communicate with me or to me for three whole years. Three whole years. Three whole years. You hear what I'm talking about? So I struggled to accept my family. But one day, God opened my eyes. I don't know who you are in this particular meeting today. You're struggling to accept your family. The family that God put you in. God used two scriptures to settle my case. First of all, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. It said, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew thee. Hey! Your journey did not start from your mother's womb. I knew thee. Before I stepped into your mother's womb to form you, to give you a form. He said, Caleb, I didn't create you in your mother's womb. I only formed you. I gave you a form. You were already in existence before your father slept with your mom. They are only vehicles. I knew thee. I said, really? You mean you, you knew me before my father slept? Why didn't you take me to another family? Why did you have to bring me through this family? He took me to the second scripture, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. He said, I know the plans I have for you. It's plan of good and not of evil. Plan to give you expected end. I said, so putting me in that family is part of your plan. He said, yes. That's the best family I can ever launch your destiny. Everything you see in that family, I saw it before I launched you. I know that the hatred, I know that the attack, I know that the bitterness, I know that all that are going through in that family, they will help you, they will not hinder you. I began to celebrate my family. I began to say, Lord, and I know that you can put a man in something that is hurting for the man to get the help that he needs in life. Did you hear what I just said? Life is not always, it's not all about being happy. Oh, I need to be happy. I need to be happy. Somebody said, hey, hey, I cannot stay in this marriage because I'm not happy in this marriage. If you want a marriage to be happy, then you will remain unmarried. Marriage is not meant to make you happy. Otherwise, you can go marry, marry a comedian. Even those of them married comedians that make people happy, they are still divorcing. Life is not all about happiness. Jesus was more happy when they put him on the cross. Life is not all about happy. Sometimes God will put you on things that are hurting for you to get the help that you need. Sometimes he have to drop you into the deep of the waters. Not because he want to drown you, but because he want to wash you. Who told you that life is all about being happy? Be happy. I, I walk out of this marriage. Since I was in this marriage, I have never found happiness. God does not exist to make you happy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, the tree that bears fruit, the branch that bears fruit, I prune it. Pruning, does it make happy? When the husband man pull out the knife to cut off the branches to prune it does that mean happiness don't look for a happy a god that will make you happy 
I want to be happy. If your dream is to be happy, you have no dream. Happiness in my dream. If that is your dream, you will never fulfill purpose. Because God does not exist to make you happy. God exists for your fulfillment. And sometimes what it takes for you to be fulfilled will, will hurt you. It will hurt you. It will make you cry. It will make you cry. Even the tree that bears much fruit receives the highest number of stones. Change your dream. I want to see the fulfillment of the purpose of God in my life. No matter what it takes. No matter what it takes. Ah, Yakabaragaza. How can you have testimony without test? How can you? This month is your month of fulfillment. No matter what it takes. I'm going to see the fulfillment of God in my life. Lift up your voice and make that proclamation as a September. Look at me. I have come to, to because I know you are my month of fulfillment. I've come no matter what it takes. I have been prepared and processed to be here. I didn't jump into my September. I've been through my January, February, March, April, May, June, July. I have been in my August. September, I am here for fulfillment. I'm here for destiny fulfillment. And I command the heavens and eight to record my voice today. That by the grace of God, I'm going to stand until I see the fulfillment of the plans of God for my life, for my children, for my marriage, for my ministry. Satan, look at me. You have never seen the end of me. I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to kick you out of the stage of my life. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody, somebody still there? Quickly, I, I thought, uh, uh, those of you that have this, I didn't know how I got here. The time is already there. But I got to continue. I'm going to continue to minister. Listen, I want to show you one more thing. And then I will let you go. Maliga do Sabaya. This day is your month of fulfillment. Quickly. I want you to see this quickly. I want to show you this quickly. And then the, 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 the Lord is saying to you today, get ready for the day of your fulfillment. Mm -hmm. This shall be your month of fulfillment. September. It shall be your month of fulfillment. Let me run you through this. Please. Mark it, this is not motivational ministration. You got to pay a price right, but it's your month of fulfillment. Somebody, the enemy would have wished to kill you before this day. But the fact that you prevail to be in this month means that the enemy cannot handle what God is about to do in your life. I want you to know that. Quickly, take down the scriptures quickly. I want you to see this. Exodus chapter 12, 1 to 3, quickly. Exodus 12, 1 to 3. Exodus 12, 1 to 3. I hope you record in me because at the end of this month, we're going to play this, 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 this to this message. Record it down. It shall be a prophetic word unto you. It said, the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron, in the land of Egypt, saying, This month, this month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Now, you need to understand that the Hebrew words written as beginning, first, they are all talking about the head, the head, the topmost of the months, the leading months. Okay? Now, they've been in Egypt for 5,160 calendar months. 
because it's if you take 430 years and multiply it by 12 you're gonna get 5160 months that's what they've been there that's what they they have already spent in bondage 5160 months that's what they have said done but god selected one month and name it the first they hate the topmost of all months for them. Boy, you have spent 5,160 months. And God decided to take one out of the 5,160 and say, This one is the lead month. This one is the topmost month. This one is the highest, is the lead, is the first. You know what it tells me? All days are not equal. All days are not equal. Write it down. All days are not equal. I'm bringing you to the word of God for you today. All days are not equal. The earlier you understand that all days are not equal, the better you are positioned to tap into what God carries in your September. All days are not equal. What makes one day more important than the other day what is it that makes the one day a lead day over the other days? Listen, the quality of a day or a month is determined by the content of the day. Did you hear what I just said? The quality of a day or a month is determined by the content of that day. What do I mean by content? what that day is loaded with what that day is loaded with so there are days that are more important more valuable than other days all days are not equal all months are not equal there are days of vengeance the bible talks to us about it in the book of luke chapter 21 verse 22 the bible talks about the days of vengeance he said, for this, by the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. There are days of vengeance. All days are not equal. That people have been messing around you. And it looks as if that your God is sleeping. But there is a particular day that is called the day of vengeance. Or period of vengeance. Other days before the days of vengeance, it, it will look as if that your God is weak. But there is a day. That is called the day of vengeance. In the Bible, there is also another day that is called evil day. Evil day. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13, mm -hmm. the Bible talks about evil day. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13, King James says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil day. The evil day. There are days that is called evil day. Not every day. All days are not equal. In the book of Luke chapter 19 verse 44, there's another day that is called a day of visitation. And shall they lay thee even with the ground and thy children within thee and they shall not live in thee one stone upon another because thou knowest not the time of that visitation that's a day that is called the day of visitation all days are not equal all days are not equal there is a day that heaven describes as in that day in that day in that day in that day which means it is a day of fulfillment in the day of fulfillment this month of september shall be that month for you it shall be that month for you that month that you are waited for that month of fulfillment that month that other months have prepared you to step into that month that other months we are just a preparation. Other months were keeping you in waiting, preparing you. It shall be your day of fulfillment. 
in Luke chapter 4 verse 21 Jesus after he walked into the temple as he normally as it was his tradition they gave him the book and he opened it unto Isaiah and he read at the end of it he handed over the book and he said to them and he began to say unto them Luke 4 21 he said this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears other days were days of prophecy but this day is the day of fulfillment all days are not equal and i come to announce unto you as the harbinger of god over your life as an administrator that god have sent to enforce your fulfillment i've come to announce unto you that this month shall be your month of fulfillment in the name of the lord jesus let me tell you one more thing and then i let you go you see the day some days are given to you for the preparation of the day some days are given to you for the preparation of the day you can mess around in your days of preparation right and nothing gonna happen you can mess around in your days of preparation after all you are just practicing you can mess around uh, on your days of preparation and you still not miss your blessings but let me tell you something you don't mess around in your day of fulfillment you don't mess around in the day of your fulfillment can you imagine taking up to three four five months to plan a trip now you have planned every trip everything is ready your bag is loaded your tickets are ready everybody's waiting for you and all of a sudden at the time you should have boarded the flight you're sleeping at home ah yeah 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 ah expectations of many years of preparation is what is at stake it's what is at stake Listen to me, listen and listen real good. You are stepped into September. It is not just the days of preparation. It's a day of manifestation. This month shall pay back all that you have suffered, all that you have prepared, all that you have waited for. This month shall bring forth the fulfillment expected in the name of jesus that's why you're hearing what you're hearing today that's why you're hearing what you're hearing today may you not be busy here and there on the day of visitation and missed visitation may you not sleep in the hour of harvest this is your month you need to be very sensitive listen listen in your days of fulfillment, the warfare will be the greatest. The devil is not a fool. The, 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 the Midianites will be sleeping. In Judges chapter 6, they will be sleeping so long as Israel is planted. They will be sleeping so long as Israel is only within the, the, the field. They will, be, they will be sleeping so long as Israel is still laboring in the farm but the day of harvest is the day they wake up from their slumber to attack israel listen to me the strongest force of every nation is at the border of that nation are you hearing what i'm talking about so when you see the challenges that the enemy will mount against you in the month of september understand that nobody will build wall of jericho around rubbish there's something about this month that's why the pressure is mounting there's something about this month that's why it looks as if the hell is breaking loose there's something about this month the devil didn't want you to press into this month but now that you are here i command your walls of jericho crumble by fire You will see the fulfillment of what you have labored for. This month, receive grace, receive wisdom, receive understanding, receive might. Yakata Kabaria. 
The eagle will coach upon the rock. It doesn't fly and flip east and exasperate itself like other birds. He camp and coach on the rock waiting for a prey. He can spend a whole three, four, five hours waiting for the prey. But the moment the prey comes to the killing range, woof, it enters. And that's the job done for the day. So shall it be for you in the month of September. As you coach in the Holy Ghost, as you sit on the rock of the world, the Lord shall cause you to spend few seconds where many have spent many seconds. Is somebody hearing what I'm talking about? I declare today that the wisdom of the Lord shall be released unto you. It's your month of fulfillment. You will not miss it. You will not miss it. You will not be distracted in the name of Lord Jesus. The enemy will not preoccupy you by voices around you. You will hear the voice from above in the name of Lord Jesus. You will see the messengers that God has sending unto you. Among all the millions of people you connect with, the Lord shall cause one to become very enlarged and emboldened. He shall zoom out his messenger unto you, and you shall find them out. Among many voices that you've heard, you will recognize the voice, the voice of the harvest, the voice from above, the voice of visitation. It shall come unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Kalabala Gadushka. Lego Siko Praludia, Leto Seko Parudia, Matika Paragado, Sepreli Capatulia. I want you, I want you to do this quick. I want you to do this before the end of this day. Take any amount of offering or sacrifice. Get unto 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 any man of God. Unto any man of God. Unto any anointed place and put down a seed on the altar. And say, Father, in the name of Lord Jesus, this particular month, he said, he, he said unto him, he said, it is the first day, it's the first month, it's the, it shall be a first month for you. He said, take every family shall take a lamb. Every family shall take a lamb. Every family, that's Exodus of the 12. Every family shall take a lamb. Ah, I, I, I make a sacrifice. I want you to take a sacrifice at this particular hour. Get into an anointed man of God or anointed place, a place that you're drinking from. I want you to put down a sacrifice and say, Lord, this is my month of fulfillment and I activate it. I shall not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. I see you try your thing. I see you thriving in a higher dimension. May the Lord keep you. May his hands be strong in your life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless your family. I'll see you tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Happy new month. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, everybody.